Well, last week, Weight Watchers, this week, Atkins. Four volunteers, four diets, four weeks. We're continuing the great way off tonight with CBS4 health specialist, Dr. Sean Kniff, looking at the health and nutrition side of Atkins. Sean? Thank you, Maggie. They say you can use fat to slim down, use protein to peel off pounds, stop counting calories and start counting carbs. It's the Atkins diet revolution, but some say it's a big fat lie. We'll find out as the great way off continues. Just about everyone has heard of the Atkins diet and people do tend to lose weight from it. High protein diets like the Atkins diet are very popular today because they do provide quick weight loss. But dietitians are concerned that this high protein eating could trigger high cholesterol, lead to physical problems such as clogged arteries, kidney stones, and other related ailments. The high protein diets like Atkins are not healthy because the extra protein your body does not need will be turned into fat and stored in the body. The Atkins diet promotes only protein and fats, no carbs, as in no rice, breads, sugars, fruits, or vegetables. Cutting out these carbs means eating less calories. That alone will result in weight loss, but the loss will still be from body water, not the fat stored in the body. In my opinion, it's the, it, there's no metabolic magic to the, the weight reduction that occurs because of the high protein intake. It's strictly that the individual is eating less food in the long run and therefore less calories. So for David Garcia, work begins at 2.30 in the morning as a yeah, tape editor at the, the CBS4 wrong. newsroom. His job means deadlines, making sure stories air where they're supposed to be in the live newscast. Because I've tried uh, to do diets and, and especially lately, um, I haven't been very disciplined with it. David can think about when and where to eat. He's just got to do it when the moment arises. Before I got on the diet, yeah, that's how I was mostly. I would have to go upstairs and grab some snacks from the vending machine. So in the early phases of his diet, there were no sugars, no pasta, no vegetables, no breads, no fruits, and no... I've been craving rice for the longest. That's right. No rice allowed on this diet because of its high carb content. He set a goal of losing weight, as did all our volunteers. His mark was set at 50 pounds. I've gained 50 pounds since I met my wife. So. He must eat every six hours, and he has to start bringing the right foods to work. I'll, I'll bring, uh, you know, a chicken breast and, and uh, another egg and eat it here for lunch. Halfway through, we caught up with David. He already lost 20 pounds. When they go back to their old eating habits, what actually ends up happening is that they end up gaining the weight that they lost and a lot more. So when finishing any fad diet, pounds will return, something David's very aware of. But he'll be careful to find a happy medium between his old and new eating habits. The Great Way Off continues tomorrow when Lisa Petrillo looks at the Atkins lifestyle and fitness. Then on Thursday, Al Sunshine examines the cost. And you'll find out mu how much David lost Friday night when Maggie Rodriguez wraps it all up. And don't forget, next week, it's Balance for Life, followed by hypnosis. I'm Dr. Sean Kniff, CBS 4 News. Thanks a lot, Doc. He was eating that Palomia steak without rice and beans. Oh. It was missing. It's all wrong. <laughs>